What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Jake Paul guys is at it once again. Not only does this dude preach that England is a city, but he is also literally ruining Hollywood. Wait, wait, what's that? You you guys have never heard of Jake Paul? What are you guys living under a rock? He's only the most poppin'. He is the most poppin' person on YouTube right now. The most poppin' YouTuber on YouTube right now. Jake Paul is a YouTube phenomenon with over eight and a half million subscribers. Basically, most of his content revolves around daily vlogs, social pranks, and also the occasional very cringy music video. Now, I'm not gonna talk too badly about Jake Paul in this video, guys, because, I mean, come on. He's the most poppin' guy on YouTube for a reason. He is the most poppin' person on YouTube right now. I mean, the numbers don't lie. Just in the last 30 days, this guy's gotten almost 2 million subscribers, and he's gotten about 500 million views on his channel. He must be impressing everybody. I mean, if so many people are coming to watch him, he, he's gotta be doing something right. Well, more or less, right? I think you kind of have to ask yourself, why do you watch anyone that is controversial. Is everybody that ends up on mainstream media always a good person? Are they always, you know, doing good things? Are they always in the spotlight for a good reason? Short answer is no. People don't always and automatically have to be a good person just to end up on top, just to end up in the spotlight. Over the course of history, we've had full-blown murderers, we've had dictators, we've had dicks, we've had just about anybody you could name, good and bad, be the spotlight, be the top, be the number one talked about person in the world. Does that mean they have to be good? Does it mean they have to be doing something right? No, not at all. And I think that applies in this case as well. And I think at the end of the day, you guys have to ask yourself, why do you like Jake Paul? Sure, he makes entertaining content for kids. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Nailed it. And his daily vlogs are a very lit. But of course, you know, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Me, personally, I'm not really that into the idea of pretending to marry one of your, you know, employees that you work with just so that you have an opportunity to make tons more videos about being a couple because everybody knows couple videos get the views. And, you know, if I had an older brother who was also really, really famous, I don't think I would go about starting fake beef with him online just so that both of our channels would keep firing back at each other, only garnering both of our channels to get more views and subscribers not to mention making really 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 cringy ass music videos that I don't understand how people could actually like it's every day bro with the Disney Channel flow and the shameless self-promotion of merchandise plugging in almost every single video don't even get me started on that one. Like, we get it. Jake, you're number one right now, number one in views, number one in probably merchandise sold, number one in, you know, music video views of any YouTuber. But at the end of the day, that doesn't make you a good person, it doesn't mean you're the best, and it doesn't mean you deserve all the glory. I mean, here's a segment from KTLA5, which is Los Angeles local news station. They just put out a story last night interviewing Jake Paul because apparently the neighbors are threatening to file a class action lawsuit against Jake Paul and the Team 10 members. They have a house up in Hollywood Hills and apparently it's causing a lot of disturbances every day due to their daily pranks. I mean, let's just watch the clip, guys. Social media and internet sensation Jake Paul thrills his taser. fans with uh, wild stunts. Pretty good, pretty good shot. <laughs> the 20-year-old Disney actor is a pop culture powerhouse with 8.5 million followers on Instagram Damn. and YouTube. He rents a large house in an upscale West Hollywood neighborhood, and this tight-knit community has become the new setting for many of his pranks and performances. So basically, you have tons and tons of underage girls coming up to the Team 10 house, which, by the way, is actually publicly listed on Google Maps as a business. Anyone can just Google Team 10 house, find the location, and go there and cause a disturbance in that neighborhood. I mean, you can't help but feel bad for some of the neighbors already. Neighbors hate me, but I'm still gonna flip and send it. That's cool, guys. Classic example of role model no status secret, right there. And that piece of information draws an endless stream of fans 
mostly young girls the day we visited and their parents to the property. He's funny. Savage. <laughs> Savage? Yeah. A recent stunt involved tossing furniture into an empty pool and setting the pile on fire. <laughs> Neighbors say flames eventually grew higher than the house, and as the pit was burning and smoking, they were fuming. We used to be a So on top of listing your house publicly so anyone can find it, when you are the number one poppin' person on YouTube, Jake Paul is actively like setting things on fire in, in his in his backyard in his swimming pool, burning old furniture like that's got to be some kind of safety violation right there i mean i get it. it it's just a prank bro but still i mean come on dude like have some common sense like how can you expect not to get hate for something like that we're fuming we used to be a really nice quiet street and now we're just this like war zone we're families here and we're more than happy to have them live here if they're respectful of their neighbors but they're not but as oh my gosh i love this shot right here guys the neighbor even said sh they're perfectly more than willing to have them there if they're just being respectful neighbors and <laughs> i love ktla news dude they insert a picture of i don't know jake paul or logan paul's car literally stopped in the middle of the road holding up traffic neighbors living with this every day we're fed up look at them shortly after we arrived look who came out to greet us there he is, the man, the man of the hour. Hablamos español también. Oh, está bien, te amo mucho. Jake, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't crawl up there. Why? I just wouldn't do why? that. A lot of the no, neighbors why not? are complaining, why not? they're very upset. No, why? They say that you've created a living hell out here, uh, that it's like a circus. Yeah, it is. All the fans. I mean, but people like going to circuses, right? Personally, I love going to the circus, dude. Circuses are fun. I mean, you got to pay good money to go to the circus. Why? Well, because circuses offer you crazy entertainment that you cannot find at home, nor should you. So I I'm sorry, Jake. I mean, like people, I'm sure people love going to the circus, but I don't think they want the circus in their own neighborhood, let alone their backyard. What do you say to the neighbors though that are upset? Then they're uh, really upset. No, I, I honestly. You can't beat them, join them. No, I'm honestly, yeah, it's terrible. It's a bad situation. No, I feel bad for them, <sighs> yeah. for sure. Uh, there's nothing we could do though. The Jake Paulers are the strongest army out there. Dab. I, oh my lord! I don't even care. My hat falls off. Hat is coming off. I don't even care, dude. I am appalled. Are we good? I am appalled by Jake Paul. Can I say that? Like, come on. I think dabbing was pretty cool when it first came out a couple of years ago, but dude, that trend is long gone. He just embarrassed himself on TV. What's your defense for disrupting the neighbors and, you know, wreaking havoc on Hollywood? Well, I don't know. You know, my fan base, I, I can't control them. It's, uh, it's not my responsibility. I'm definitely not their role model and don't have any say in how they respond. Dab. That is a great answer, Jake. In fact, I, I couldn't have phrased it any better. You can't argue with the man. I mean, hey, he's number one. He's the most popping guy. He's the most popping person on YouTube right now. I have one question for you. Yeah? What are those? <laughs> I guess he didn't like my shoes, but I don't think they're so bad. Neighbors I spoke with tell me next week they're going to have a special meeting with city leaders and police and code enforcement officials and so forth. Depending on what happens there, they will decide whether to file a class action public nuisance lawsuit against Jake Paul and the homeowner. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you posted. Live in West Hollywood, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. Can I just say, Chris Wolf, he's been reporting for years and years, who knows how long. And for Jake Paul to just shamelessly disrespect him with another 2014 meme. What are those? <laughs> like, you're really just digging your own grave, dude. Like, come on. You are the number one person on YouTube, okay? I mean, maybe in the world in terms of, you know, social media influencers. Like, don't you think you kind of have to set a little bit of a good example for some of the people, you know, like uh, the few million of them that follow you? Wreaking havoc on Hollywood, disrespecting people on national TV, disrespecting the news. I mean, Jake, like, 
please ask yourself like what what are those what what are you thinking that's the question how did like did you think any of this through did you not think that this would make you look like an even bigger asshole so when it all comes down to it i want you guys to re-ask yourself the question i asked you at the beginning of this video why do you like jake paul sure He's number one. He's killing it in terms of views and subscribers. He's making all kinds of money from his merchandise. Dude, that stuff, let me tell you, it's selling like a god church. I mean, how can the guy who's on top, who, you know, is getting more views than PewDiePie, how can you not like him, am I right? I will leave that for you guys to decide on your own. So I hope this video more or less just reminds you guys that just because you are number one, doesn't mean you should be. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly look forward to reading the comments. Let me know down below what you think about Jake Paul. Why do you like him if you do? Again, guys, personally, I have no personal ill will towards Jake Paul, you know, unless he flags down this video and, and you know, gets it removed. Then, then, it, then it is personal. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And speaking of merch, guys, we do have our own merch as well. Link is down below. Hey, shameless self-promotion is in right now, okay? You got Jake Paul to thank on that one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day and until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Good night. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Nailed it.